The free dance is the third part of the dance competition. It counts for 50% and is a good chance for the judges to see if the skaters can really dance. Here, the power of the edge is extremely important. Knee action, strength of stroke, natural flow and glide are all factors tied into edge control and ones that need to be evaluated. Judges look for edges that have a true, deep quality to them. Here's a couple whose edges are not strong. They appear to be skating more on top of the ice as opposed to being down into it. Note the lack of depth to this edge. By contrast, this couple carves their edges deeply into the ice. Their natural lean also enhances the strength and quality of their edge. Some couples have developed their own training techniques to improve and strengthen edges. Here's Canada's Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz performing an exercise that pushes their own parameters around edge control. This in turn allows them to take those edges into the free dance and create unique movements as a result. Judges watch for edges that have a running glide to them. This allows the speed and the flow to be maintained much more readily than if the edges were scraped, forced, or even riding on the toe of the blade. Judges also watch that both partners use their edges in an equal way. It's unbalanced if one partner does most of the work. The ideal is for both skaters to be of equal ability, as seen here, and to share the technical difficulty of the footwork. There's more to evaluating the free dance than just edges. However, it is the edges that give the free dance its feeling of maturity and control. If the edges are strong, then the technical component of the dance is strong, and the skaters can then concentrate on creating the artistic experience we all look forward to in a free dance. Chris? Well, Gene, that will help us discern the best of the top five teams. And speaking of the best, Oksana Gritschek and Jenny Platov will have them and the final group when we return to Japan. Welcome back to the 94 World Figure Skating Championships from Makahari, Japan. Just a reminder, the Canadian Junior Curling Championships go tomorrow, 1.30 Eastern time from Truro, Nova Scotia. We'll have a couple of special guest commentators tomorrow, Canadian champion Sandra Peterson and Rick Bolt. But right now on the ice, another team like Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz that has had a meteoric rise at these championships, Tatyana Navka and Samuel Gazelian of Belarus. They're actually Ukrainian-born skaters. Once competed for Russia and trained in Lake Placid. They're in fifth place. Already what I like about this team is that they've demanded my attention. They've got a presence about them that makes you take notice and watch. I'm sure that comes from their coach, Natalia Dubova, who is also the coach of Maya Usova and Alexander Zulin, who have chosen not to be here.
I think it's a sign of good coaching and choreography when the music suits and is tailored to the style and technical ability of the skater. This music sounds big, portrays power, and I think that's what they're doing out there. Barb, you can ask any performer and they'll tell you that you're only as good as your backup band. And for anybody who skates, your backup band is your music. And I think this team has made a great selection with the three pieces of music that they are skating to tonight. Well, they certainly commanded the ice well. They commanded my attention and yours as well, Paul. I think it's a team that is going to be around for a number of years, and I think it's a team that's going to be rivals with our Canadian team, Shaylin Bourne and Victor Kratz, for a long time to come. And somebody that agrees with you is Natalia Dubova. She says she's very impressed with Bourne and Kratz, and she looks forward to the rivalry in the years ahead. We'll have the mark for Nafka and Gazelian when we return. Bova welcoming her team off the ice of Nafka and Gazelian as the first set of marks are being posted here. Five fours and five fives, the best technical marks we've seen so far. This is a team that won back in 91 at Skate America but never got a chance at major internationals because of the depth of Russian skating. Second set of marks and they have seven firsts, two seconds. Those two seconds are behind Born and Kratz, but Nafka and Gazelian are now the leaders. Russia. Nikita Nibali. 